What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas. And we are gonna take a look at this absolutely beautiful Van Lee Beacon fifth wheel. Now this specific floor plan, which is called the 40FLB, is a floor plan they've had for a while, and it's one I've never actually toured, but this is essentially the type of floor plan and interior that made Van Lee famous in terms of what they're capable of doing on the inside and the overall look of these units from the outside. So hang tight, you're not gonna wanna miss this. As always, let's take a moment and look at the numbers on this unit first. So this is gonna have a GVWR of 18,500 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 3,100 pounds. So it's got a really high cargo capacity. It's gonna ride on 17.5 inch H-rated tires. So this is definitely something you wanna to tow behind a dually. Not just because of its weight, because you know there are single rear wheel trucks that can handle that much weight. It's because of the overall length, height, and width of this unit. It is a wide body, super tall, super long. It's straight profile, so it doesn't dip down in the back like some units do. It's got a lot of slides. There's a lot of reasons that you would want a dually to tow something like this safely. Also worth noting is this beautiful full body paint job. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous and I don't think the camera is probably giving you a really good representation of just how beautiful it is. I've been doing a review on a 42RDB beacon for a while, which is also full body paint, more like this scheme right here, but this dark tone is absolutely gorgeous. I kind of wish this would have been the color they sent me. However, beautiful, beautiful unit. Love the overall look. I mean, they just stand out. You know, I'll be the first one to admit that there are reasons why a DRV costs more and has some additional features, such as like three inch thick sidewalls, a 15 inch, you know, triple boxed frame. But this thing weighs significantly more. For the same size unit, you're gonna probably talk about a unit that weighs nearly seven to 8,000 pounds or more than this beacon. So you're talking about something significantly heavier whenever you're comparing this to a mobile suite or a DRV. And furthermore, this is gonna be probably $40,000 less than a DRV. So keep that in mind. And I would honestly say the interior of this beacon blows away the interior of the DRV. And you'll see when I get inside. Has an upgraded Rotaflex LCI pin box outside. Basically it rotates right here. This large rubber bushing absorbs some of that motion, helps dampen it and reduce chucking and some of the effects of towing something heavy. You have hydraulic leveling, auto leveling system controls right here. I do not know if this has a generator. It does not look like it has the exhaust pipe, so it is probably prepped for one. It is prepped, just doesn't have the generator in it. And I love that they use these really thick, heavy baggage doors. A lot of manufacturers skimp out here and go to something really thin. Also, slam latches everywhere. They don't use the little twisties over here. Nice thick baggage door here. Has a 30 pound propane can. You could easily fit something larger in here though. Here's one side of your basement storage. Again, super thick baggage doors. You have a really nice aluminum panel in here and everything here is cut out or laser cut, which is nice. You have electronic gate valves up here, which is also really nice. Everything is easily marked, nice to get to. And you also have a whole house water filtration system, little area for your hoses to come through. You have a sprayer in here. Most of this stuff is pretty common, except for these electronic gate valves and this really, really nice laser cut surround is awesome. Plus it's sealed off, so any water that spills in here is gonna drop down. And here are your low point drains, nice and concealed inside of here. You have your LCI controls right here. Uh, not too much storage on this side, but you can definitely see where it opens up more towards the back there. Something else that they like to talk about is their use of, I believe it's like a plastic floor system down here, so you don't have to worry about water intrusion possibly rotting out your floor. This is gonna be the outside of your water heater and then the outside of your furnace. This can be equipped with a on-demand water heater as well, like the unit that I've been reviewing. It has a huge frame, so this is a 10 on 10 I-beam frame, 10 inch main beam with a 10 inch drop frame, rack and pinion slide. This is gonna be the outside of your refrigerator so you can winterize it. Coming around over here, 
This runs Westlake H-rated 17.5 inch tires. This also has the LCI Equiflex, which is interesting because the one I have has the Road Armor suspension and this one has the Equiflex, both made by LCI. I kind of prefer the Road Armor system, but it does have the heavy duty shackle straps and greasable wet bolts. It is an upgraded suspension, which is nice though. This unit has drum brakes. They do offer disc brakes as an option though. You have a Schwintec slide back here. Nice frameless windows. And again, beautiful, beautiful paint job. Coming around back here, electric cord reel, a standard on the beacon. Beautiful one piece fiberglass back cap. Absolutely gorgeous and it just stands out so much. I love the silver stripe down the center of it. The way they do the logo is just absolutely gorgeous plus all the LED lighting in the back. This is definitely something that looks high end when you're driving behind it. They still give you a bumper which is also nice. Coming around this side, Schwintec slide here. You can see something that they do which is really nice is they actually paint the sides of the slides here. Some manufacturers don't. Another slide here, rack and pinion. You can see how they put a boxed tubular section here underneath the 10 inch I-beam. It's gonna give you a little bit more structural rigidity but it will also raise the chassis up a little higher so you can level it out a little better whenever you're towing it behind these newer, taller, heavy duty trucks. Huge frameless window right here. Coming around this way. You can see that there's one slide here and there's one slide here. Almost wish they would have put slide top awnings on some of these like, like this one right here and the one there in the back. You can't really put it on this one since that slide would kind of cover it. Schwintec slide up here. Opening up this side of the storage. Again, nice slam latches, super thick baggage doors. You have your power disconnect here. Everything's finished off really nice. You have your central vacuuming system, cable, power connections, and then your other propane can is going to be in there. This also has the LCI steps. Let's take a look inside of this absolutely beautiful 40 FLB Vanley Beacon. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pan around a little bit here so you have a moment to kind of take it all in. When I talk about the woodwork and the craftsmanship inside of a Vanley product, this is what I'm talking about. Again, there are aspects of other units that make them more expensive and are considered to be a little higher end in terms of things like sidewall thickness. This has a two inch thick sidewall versus like a DRV with a three inch or a Lux or a New Horizon. But when you're looking at the overall interior and what you get, especially for the price. I definitely wouldn't consider these to be budget, but they're definitely less expensive than a Lux or a DRV by a pretty significant margin. These are gonna be more in line with like a Redwood or a Riverstone, but the interior, again, sets itself apart. Residential Franklin furniture. I mean, take a look at just the valances. I mean, how all of this is set, this is all soft touch. This is all real fabrics mixed in with absolutely beautiful woodwork and craftsmanship. Just take a look at this front entertainment area. Nice wide view fireplace, nice large TV. This looks like something you would see inside of a home or a condo or even on a yacht. Again, the furniture is absolutely the most comfortable furniture I've ever sat in in any RV. You have your controls here. This is their spider control system, lets you monitor and control everything. And all of your light switches, things like that, they're all wireless. So they have batteries inside of them and they control by speaking to the spider control panel, turn lights on to do different things like that. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. All the hardware, everything's gorgeous. Nice Whirlpool refrigerator, more cabinets up top, convection microwave already in place. Upgraded Furion cooktop here. Huge oven as well, and it's closed off right now. But this is what I'm talking about. All these controls here are wireless. So they all speak to that main control board over there wirelessly. The batteries last a couple of years. Nice island as well. It's gonna be a dual basin stainless steel island. Nice residential grade fixtures. Gorgeous dinette area. The flooring is all hand laid vinyl tile, so it's not just a roll of linoleum. I do use carpet in the slides here, and I really don't care to be honest with you. This is one of those areas that it's personal preference. 
This has an MSRP of $135,633. Sale price on a unit like this is probably going to be just slightly north of $100,000. Beautiful, beautiful storage here. Check this out. It's even finished off. You have these nice pull-out drawers. Everything is super high gloss. The woodwork in here is fantastic. It's almost like you'd want to hire these folks to come to your house and do your cabinetry there as well. Stepping into this absolutely gorgeous bathroom has a one-piece shower. Super high ceilings because all of their fifth wheels have a straight profile to the roof. They don't dip down so you don't get that angle as you get towards the back. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a little sprayer hose here for whatever you want to use that for. Nice flooring in here throughout. Absolutely gorgeous medicine cabinets in here. This entire area is just very, very nice. And look at that, even the woodwork around the front of the sink bowls. Nice residential undermount sink basins. That's an upgrade in a home even. Okay, exiting the bathroom. Real quick, you have more storage here as well. Going into the bedroom space. Look at this, this is just gorgeous. I mean, this is what you would expect to see in the back of a Prevo or the back of a super high-end motorhome. This is the type of woodwork that you see, and that's because of the Tiffin lineage. The fact that the folks at Tiffin collaborated with the folks at Van Lee, because it's the same company now under the Thor umbrella, because Thor acquired them, but you can see what you get. And check out this space, because this is a slide, and because that's a full depth slide, you have all this space here at the end of the bed. You probably have six feet of space here. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous wardrobe. TV already mounted in place. You're gonna have a place here for your washer and dryer. More cabinets up top. You have a huge closet here at the end. Very, very residential. I mean, that's just kind of the whole message behind this unit is very residential. Feels absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at this space right here besides the bed not being made. More storage right here, little niche areas. Another one of your control panels right here. Even the doors, and they're all very, very solid feeling. They don't feel like cheap, flimsy doors. Anyways, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Again, I've been reviewing one of these beacons for a long time, the 42 RDB, which is a little bit different in terms of floor plan. The living room's in the back and the bedroom's up front, but the kitchen's in the center. I've been super impressed with the one that I've had. And every time you walk inside of it, or anybody else walks inside of it, the first thing you think is, holy cow, they put all of this in an RV? I see why you like it. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous example of what they're capable of doing from the interior. Again, when it comes to the chassis, when it comes to some of the things they're doing with suspension, they're not what I would consider to be the highest end out there, but they're definitely at that upper tier regardless. Not quite what DRV does, not quite what some other companies do, but for what you pay for one of these, it is definitely comparable to anything else in its price range until you walk into the interior and you see that the interior on this unit might be what sells you. And one final thing before I forget is the soft touch roof. I know I've brought this up several times, but they pad the roof like you would expect to see in a high-end motorhome. So that's really cool. And it does add a significant amount of sound deadening, which is also really nice. You can even get it with thermal pane, dual pane windows, which is nice. That blocks out a lot of sound. A lot of people that go to them will never go to an RV without them. You know, as far as temperature control, keeping hot air out or cold air in or hot air in and cold air out, you know, they do an adequate job, but the real, real big value here is the fact that they make things so much quieter because we're right next to the highway and it's not really loud inside. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.